Shalom, everyone. I'm having a little bit of problems with the audio. I think we have it working now. What I was going to say was, this is Ariel speaking, by the way. Um, isn't that dog cute? I couldn't resist. And trust me, much cuter than I am. Um, tonight, I'm going to wish you all a happy Hanukkah. And I know that some of you are having your very first Hanukkah, so I really felt that it was important, even though we're going to be very brief tonight, that at least we all do it together. And I know that I wanted to be with all of you, so I'm very happy to see all of you here. And um, for everyone who's, the dog is super cute. Yes, it is. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. Tonight, we are going to do the uh, candle lighting with the blessings. And I have uh, Yona with me tonight, my cousin, as you know. She's going to be uh, actually lighting the candles because you've seen my hair and you just know that I'd set myself on fire, don't you? Um, even though I don't wear hairspray, it would just blow up. I'm absolutely certain. So I'm going to come in here now. That's Yona behind me. And you know that we start with the candle lighting that's going from the same way that we write in Hebrew, Hebrew from the right to the left. So it may look reversed on your screen, but it actually is uh, correct. Happy Hanukkah, all twin. I, I'm sorry. I want to look over here and see who's here. Hey, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Um, guest 57, 44, 917, and 202. Any chance I can get you to sign in with the name or something? Otherwise, I'll be just calling you by your number. And if you don't mind that, I don't mind that. But if I know you and I'm calling you from your number, I'll be very embarrassed. So we're going to um, first let me get my little papers together here. So I say um, I'm going to uh, we have the three blessings, you know, that on the first night and you'll see the lag time, which looks particularly bad tonight, by the way. Hi, Doc. Actually, I probably guessed that it was you from where you were located. And Lanny, I haven't seen you in so long. I'm so glad you're here. Um, looking over the list again here. Um, what I wanted to say was that we have the three blessings. And as you know, on uh, the first night, we read the three. The last one, the Shehechianu, was only read on the first night. Um, you're familiar with, I'm sure, the first one, since it's a regular candle blessing, except for the last word. And I'm sure you're familiar with the Shehekianu. The second one you may not be as familiar with. So I'm going to go ahead and read that one in English, and I'll probably read the uh, other ones uh, in Hebrew. But I do have the English up here for you, particularly for those of you who don't know uh, or read Hebrew, because this is your first time. And I would like to welcome everyone, by the way. Welcome tonight. Arva, hi. Smile, Yona. <laughs> She's waiting to set her hair on fire. I forgot her hair is uh, actually a little longer than mine. So. They're giggling behind me. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Doc, Doc, hi, twin. Yes. Oh, we've still got folks coming in. Maybe I should have waited a little while. I saw the comment about uh, Jews never start on time, and I always recall that Rabbi Patrick says that if you start on time, you're early, if we're Jewish. So um, we're going to go ahead now and start the uh, three blessings. And I'm going to switch back here because Yona is going to light the servant, what we call the servant candle, which is the one in the middle, the one that's raised up higher. And you light the first candle on the first night after the three blessings. So she's going to stand there and hold it and hopefully won't drop any wax on her hand. And if she does it, she won't curse. This is the first blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech halom asher kedishanu b'mitzvotov v'tzivanu lahadlik ner shel Hanukkah. And the second one, 
which I'll go ahead and read in English. This is the one people tell me they aren't particularly familiar with. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, sovereign of the universe, who performed miracles for our ancestors in those days at this time. And the third one, the Shehechianu, this is the one that we only say on the first night. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'alom, Shehechianu v'ki imanu v'higianu lazman hazeh. And now we're going to watch as we light the first candle. Thank you, Yona. And thank you to everybody who sang Amen. I appreciate it. Your psychic twin. Should I be jealous? <laughs> yes, and thank you for... Uh, can you scroll back for me just one second? I have somebody here running the computer for me. This is Erica, and sooner or later, there you go. Guest 202, thank you for putting in the Hebrew name of the servant candle. I appreciate it. Um, we're not going to obviously have a service tonight, as I say. The reason we're, we will be doing that on Friday. We will be having our regular service with a lot of other things mixed in. And um, tonight, now that we've lit the first candle, what I'd like to do is to do what's typically done, which is um, reading this that's usually done immediately after lighting the candles, which we have just done. Kimberly, are you my Kimberly? I recall last time that you signed in with the last name that wasn't the same that I knew you from. <laughs> So hi, Kimberly. How are you? 917. I will try and remember your number. <laughs> um, we kindle these lights to commemorate the saving acts, miracles, and wonders which you have performed for our forefathers in those days at this time through your holy priests. Throughout the eight days of Hanukkah, these lights are sacred and we are not permitted to make use of them, but only to look at them in order to offer thanks and praise to your great name for your miracles, for your wonders, and for your salvations. Now, as you know, we're not supposed to be using the light from the candles, not even to read by. Their sole purpose is, as it just says here. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is, um, for all of us, the next thing that's usually done is to uh, read the full Hallel, which we usually do on our Jewish holidays, as you know. I'm going to start out reading, as you know, the Hallel prayer is uh, six Psalms, Psalm 113 through 118, and we usually do this on high holy days or regular Jewish holidays. And on some, we only read the half Hallel, uh, if there's anything we need to be sad or sorry about. So we're going to start off with Psalm 113. Hallelujah, praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of thereof, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. His glory is above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God that is enthroned on high that looketh down low upon the heaven and upon the earth, who raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people, who maketh the barren woman to dwell in her house as a joyful mother of children. Hallelujah. Now, last time I did this, I read it all in Hebrew. And as I say, since I know that some of you are here for the very first time, and for your first Hanukkah, um, I'm putting it up and reading it in English with you. Thank you for reading it with me. When Israel came forth out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. The Jordan turned backward. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like young sheep. What aileth thee, O thou sea, that thou fleest? 
thou Jordan, that thou turnest backward. Ye mountains that ye skip like rams, ye hills like young sheep. Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Not unto us, O, Lord, o the Lord, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory, for thy mercy and for thy truth's sake. Wherefore should the nations say, Where is now their God? But our God is in the heavens. Whatsoever pleased him, he hath done. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. Noses they have, but they smell not. They have hands, but they handle not. Feet they have, but they walk not. Neither speak they with their throat. They that make them shall be like unto them. Yes, every one that trusteth in them. O Israel, trust thou in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust ye in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord hath been mindful of us. He will bless. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord increase you more and more, you and your children. Blessed be ye of the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down in silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. I love that the Lord should hear my voice and my supplications, because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him all my days. The cords of death compassed me, and the straits of the netherworld got held upon me. I found trouble and sorrow, but I called upon the name of the Lord. I beseech thee, O Lord, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yea, our God is compassionate. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low and he saved me. Return, O my soul, unto thy rest, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the lands of the living. I trusted even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. How can I repay unto the Lord all his bountiful dealings towards me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. My vows will I pay unto the Lord, and yea, in the presence of all his people, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. I beseech thee, O Lord, for I am thy servant. I am thy servant, the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bands. I will offer to thee the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord, yea, in the presence of all his people in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of the O Jerusalem. Hallelujah. And Psalm 117, our two-liner. O praise the Lord, all ye nations. Laud him, all ye peoples. For his mercy is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Hallelujah. Now we're going to be moving on to the, the last Psalm 118, and I'm going to turn you over to Yona, who does not lisp, unlike me. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. So let Israel now say, for his mercy endureth forever. So let the house of Aaron now say, for his mercy endureth forever. So let them now... So let them now that fear the Lord say, For his mercy endureth forever. Out of my straits I call upon the Lord. He answered me with great enlargement. The Lord is for me. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? 
The Lord is for me as my helper, and I shall gaze upon them that hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations compass me about. Verily, in the name of the Lord, I will cut them off. They compass me about. Yea, they compass me about. Verily, in the name of the Lord, I will cut them off. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. Verily, in the name of the Lord, I will cut them off. Thou didst trust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter into them. I will give thanks unto the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter into it. I will give thanks unto thee, for thou hast answered me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected is become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We beseech thee, O the Lord, save now. We beseech thee, O the Lord, make us now to prosper. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We bless you out of the house of the Lord. The Lord is God and hath given us light. We order, order the festival procession with vows, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will give thanks unto thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Thank you, Yona. And Lanny, I should be thanking you for listening. My list was particularly bad tonight, and I do apologize for that. Sometimes that's why I like Hebrew better. For some reason, I do that a little bit better than English, and I don't know why. Um, we're not going to do too much more tonight, actually. On Friday, when we do our service, we're also going to have a little Hanukkah quiz, and we'll talk about some of the customs, etc. And I'm sure you all can tell me some of the things that you do in your own home. Um, I didn't play any music tonight because, to be honest with you, I haven't heard any Hanukkah music that ever, that you know, all this, all these years, never that I've heard that I really, really liked as much as some of the beautiful things that we have when we do our services. So what I'd like to ask is, during this past week or during the past three weeks that I haven't seen any of you, you do know that I'm moving into a new home, which is why I'm glad Yona's sitting there blocking up the mess that's behind me. Um, will you serve latkes? I'd like to know if there's anything you'd like to talk about, anything that that's been going on with you that you'd like to share with us. I'd really appreciate it. We had them tonight in jelly donuts. Well, I'm on a very low carb diet and I know that um, Yona's mother is actually going to make me some zucchini latkes tomorrow night, not tonight. You're sick today. I'm so sorry. And in that case, I doubly thank you for coming. Anybody want to say anything about uh, what's been going on in their lives? Uh, Lanny, did you send pictures to me? I probably should have uh, checked my email and I should know better. For those of you who are not here frequently, um, you know that uh, Marilyn, who's Lanny's wife, uh, well, actually, I should say Lanny and Marilyn because Lanny's the one who makes a challah in his house at least. Um, absolutely beautiful food and usually I'm lucky enough that I get to drool because he sends pictures to us um, for me to share with you and I should have done that tonight. You're moving too. 
Well, I'm only moving about 45 minutes away from where I am. And as I've told all of you before, the reason I'm moving is because um, my dog lost one of his eyes and I'm afraid he's going to lose the other one. And I live in a house that's elevated up high and I need to be on a house that's in flat ground so he can, uh, if he does lose his vision, he'll be somewhere. How far away, how far away are you moving? No pics, but you're going to send me some. Or oh, you've probably already eaten. You ate up everything before you sent me a picture. Shame on you. But I'm so glad to see you here tonight. And Kimberly, are you still here? I can't tell. Um, 202. Okay, I guess nobody has anything special to share. Poor guy has them for me. Oh, thank you. You're an hour and going to be an hour and 15 minutes away, Kimberly. Well, that's not too far. So we're both not moving to different states or different countries. Interesting. Yes, Kimberly, I'm sorry. Um, Erica just pointed out to me that in that short period of time, I already forgot what number you were. So next time, could you do me a favor and sign in as Kimberly? Because last time I felt so bad that you signed in with the name by which I did not know you, but yet I know you. And may I ask you and hope I'm not embarrassing you, um, how is your program coming along? Sends his best wishes to all of you. Lanny, thanks for uh, passing that on. Alex is, if you can see this, Alex is sending us his best. Well, I'm hoping the chat room works a little bit better for you uh, from this point on. And I know I'm looking over to the side because I'm intent um, not to miss anything. Still doing good. I'm glad to hear that, Kimberly. I guess it couldn't be terrible unless you came in tonight to yell at me that you didn't like it. That would be kind of embarrassing. But you're so gracious, I know you wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not going to, uh, to keep any of you any longer. But I'm hoping that all of you will come on Friday because I would like to hear from all of you um, regarding what it is you actually do for Hanukkah. And we'll be halfway through then. Uh, we'll be on day four, if memory serves. So we'll be lighting the fourth candle together. And as I say, there's one reason that I wanted especially to be here is because I know that some of you, this is your first Hanukkah. And I wanted to personally, I have missed all of you so much. Um, I felt like I've really been cut off, but it's been, you know, very stressful trying to get ready for this move. So I really wanted to be with all of you tonight. And I thank you for coming. I hope you do come on Friday, as I said, for the service. And we will talk a little bit more about Hanukkah. And as usual, you know that I would love to have you volunteer and to make a donation of any size, 50 cents, a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can afford. And the other thing is, I'm going to put this up here. I would love to hear from you. Do you know that nobody sends me emails? Nobody from the room. Well, Lanny does every now and then. Sends me great pictures. But I would love to hear from you. And if there's anything special that you would like to do on Friday night, let me know. Uh, I think we have a pretty exciting evening planned. We'll be doing our regular service and then having a discussion about Hanukkah. Yes, yeah, send me an email. It does make me, I have never, as I say, except for uh, maybe one or two of you, don't have anybody send me anything to this address. Um, I appreciate it, even though uh, my assistant made it so pretty with the pearls and the peridots. So what I'd like to do at this point is sign off and tell all of you, Happy Hanukkah. I hope that I get to see you on Friday. 
And I'm sure all of you are thrilled since I usually run overtime even for an hour that we actually made it in 30 minutes tonight. So there's Yona in the background smiling and I'm here smiling at you and I um, wish all of you a happy Hanukkah. Thank you and I will see you next Friday I really hope.